Okay. Well, that uh, resin epoxy is setting up. Just want to give a shout out to John over at Jigsy's Shed. Got a couple stickers from him. Uh, he's already got mine, so just want to give a shout out. There'll be a card up in the corner or something in the description box. Go check him out. He does some very cool stuff. So that's uh, John over at Jigsy's uh, Shed. So go check him out. Good work, brother. Thanks for the stickers. Gonna let that soak in a little bit. Then we'll hit it with some activator, accelerator, whatever you want to call it. Discount codes in the description box below. Go get some Star Bond and save yourself some money. 10% anyway. Not a bad deal. Alright, we're gonna let that set up a little bit before I uh, hit it with the accelerator. We'll be back.
There it is. One chicken or meat tenderizer or for peanut butter cookies. Hell yeah. Anyway, wood was real punky right here. Uh, still is. It's kind of rough right there a little bit. You can see. Uh, that's the first time I used that doctor's wood shop finish. I like it. I'm going to have to mess around with it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I like it. This is Ruth Niles. I'll have a link, link to her website. Great stuff, man. Great stuff. So anyway, this is the meat tenderizer from Ruth Niles. Peanut butter cookie press or whatever. But anyway, links will be uh, down here. This is spalted maple. Sanded to 400. Probably could have did a little bit better job with my finish, but that's the first time I used that uh, doctor's wood shop, like I said. So don't forget to check out John's channel, Jigsy's um, Shed. So anyway, until next time, you guys know the rules. I'm out.